Small green plants lined the bed of what used to be a frontier lake between Switzerland and France. It existed for 12,000 years and was 18 meters deep, but now it's relegated to just a small stream due to the high summer temperatures. And according to the EU, agriculture will also take a big hit. The latest crop monitoring bulletin highlights that the exceptionally hot and dry weather conditions in large parts of Europe continue to substantially reduce yield outlooks for summer crops. According to the Commission scientists, the weather is set to remain warmer and drier than usual in the Western Mediterranean region until November. And we have said it before, the current drought appears to be the worst since at least 500 years. Numerous European towns and villages are also feeling the heat, like in Le Bouget Saint Nicole in southeastern France. They're having trouble getting water supplies and are relying on daily tanker deliveries. In a touristy region, hospitality businesses have been affected. One morning, there was no water at all. For our hotel and bar guests, we used bottled water so they could brush their teeth and we could make coffee. And for those creatures who live in Europe's waterways, it's a question of life and death. Anglers here are trying to save as many fish as they can from the narrowing Ijsel River in the Netherlands before it's too late. According to the European Drought Observatory, nearly two-thirds of the EU is in drought warning conditions or in a state of drought alert. And all the while, the fires still burn.